Hey Closeboat community, happy Friday. I've got an update for you uh, with some cool stuff we've been doing for one of our clients. Um, it's, Brock Team is a real estate uh, agency from Seattle and they asked us to build for them um, a bot for their Facebook page. Um, this bot should uh, qualify a lead, figure out if they're a seller, buyer or investor, um, ask a specific set of questions for each one of the lead types. Um, and then book a meeting um, if possible. Um, we've been reading um, in the documentation, looking at the groups, and we've seen that bot switching is the appropriate solution to start with the reception it, thanks for the ideas, um, and then switch to the different bots, a seller bot, a buyer bot, and an investor bot. So um, let's see what we've done. Um, sorry, full screen. Um, let's start with Closebot. So we started by designing um, uh, four bots, a receptionist, seller, buyer, and investor. The receptionist is very simple. It's only looking for lead type, um, which is um, buyer, seller, or an investor. And we've got the three other a seller bot. Um, with uh, which is looking for a timeline for the sale, the address that the lead is uh, owning, motivation, and eventually book an appointment. Similarly to a buyer, but a little bit of different sequence and goals, find out which uh, locations you're looking at, what's their criteria, and again, timeline and motivation, and finally booking. And an investor, slightly different again, uh, looking at um, which kind of locations and um, what kind of an investment criteria. So let's give it a go, see how it works. Um, this is the Facebook web page with the message um, working and connected to GHL. I created a filtered list here to search for my name. Um, I deleted myself so it's empty. And as soon as I say hi, I am looking um, to sell my house. Um, GHL should uh, create the contact and trigger the uh, close bot um, message. So um, let's try and see what's happening behind the scenes. Um, going back to close bot, I'm going to the receptionist and going to the dashboard. And there we go. Hi, I'm looking to sell my house. And the response is, hello, that's fantastic. I'd be happy to assist you with that. Could you tell me a bit more about your property and your timeline? So here, here's the challenge. This response is coming from the receptionist. And it's asking me about the property and the timeline. Whereas when I'm looking at the seller bot, the first question I should be asking is, um, is the timeline, not about the property. Um, and this is caused because the, the first bot is not aware of the switch and what the next bot is going to be. So if there are different objectives uh, being first in the different bots, it will not know. Um, so the challenge was how to um, able to switch and get the right answer. So if we go back to um, the um, receptionist to the dashboard, we can see that the, the answer, um, could you tell me a bit more about the property and your timeline, is not actually what we got. It says, wonderful, I'm here to help you. Are you aiming to sell soon? Do you have a date in mind? So where did that get here from? Let's hop over to the seller bot and we can see that um, this is actually coming from here. So the seller bot did the response and not the receptionist. However, when I go to uh, my contact, I can see that the lead type was completed. So basically, both of them were running to some sort of uh, capacity. Um, but this is how the bot switch happens. And now it switched over to the seller bot. So if I'd say um, as soon as possible, it should just move on um, to the next uh, stages. 
and go to the next objective. Um, so how do we make it work? Um, the, all the magic is inside um, GHL. Uh, Closebot has a great API and um, it's really easy to do whatever you want with it. So all we had to figure out is, you know, how to um, build their workflow in an, in, the, in an appropriate way. So let me uh, show you how it looks. Um, let's go to here and go to automation. And here we have a new uh, folder called Real Wave Tools, and we've got basically two um, um, workflows here. One is the message handler, and one is the bot switcher. The bot switcher is where we basically um, manage the changing of the bots or figuring out which objectives or goals changed and you know we want to update that some other things so this is where we're actually updating stuff um, in this case we're looking for goals completed and status changes or timeline change things that changed in the contact um, and we're running our logic to figure out whether we need to switch the bot i see a lot of people just running um, some conditional um, ifs here, I mean branches, that's possible. I personally don't uh, like them because they get very big very quickly. So we connected our, our logic to a spreadsheet um, and we just have a list of all the rules. Um, if I filter only on this, we can see that there are three simple rules. If you know we moved to seller, then use the seller bot. If we move to buyer, uh, use the buyer bot and investor to the investor bot. And, we can specify you know, some more logic here, just a spreadsheet, and we're reading from the spreadsheet and figuring out what the next bot is. But some conditional logic is okay too. Um, and then we figure out if a bot switch is needed. Um, if there is no need for switch, we just don't. Um, if we figure out we need to turn off, we turn off. And if we need, we just um, change, um, change the bot. So really simple. Um, and the challenge is that um, since Closebot is sending the message and the updates and kind of together, it was really uh, tough to um, time this um, workflow to run in the right way. Um, and this is what the other flow is responsible for, the message handler. This is where basically where the magic happens. Um, what we do is basically uh, trigger when Closebot replied um and we hold the reply for in this case 0.1 minutes which the time i found is enough to figure out and let the other workflows do their thing um, and then we can check whether we need to switch the bot um, we can either switch it off to off you know next bot is off um, or to um, um, if there's a new bot that we need, we just switch the bot and discard the original reply and trigger the new bot. And if we keep the same bot, um, there's some additional edge cases checks here, but basically we're looking at re releasing the hold and sending the message back. So that's in a nutshell uh, what we're doing and it allows us to create an unlimited number of switches and they all work nicely and smoothly. Um, that's all. I hope you liked it um, and let me know what you think.